morning, Whittier. I'm Naida Isilson, and today we have the pleasure of broadcasting live from Paris, France. And behind us, you can see the Eiffel Tower. I'm Vincent Figueroa. I can't wait to climb the Eiffel Tower, uh, 1,710 steps. Or I'll just use the elevators. I would want to climb up 108 stories. That would, hurt, that would really hurt my legs. Welcome to WeTV. TV. <laughs> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Whittier Wildcat Pledge. Ready, begin. I am a Whittier Scholar. I am respectful, I am responsible, I am safe. I always do my best and I strive for excellence. You're supposed to do it right. Thank you, you may be seated. The first, the, the survival skill of the month is accepting no for an answer. Step one, look at the person. Step two, say okay. Step three, stay calm. And step four, if you disagree, ask again later. Here's an example of accepting no for an answer. Hey, you're supposed to eat that in the lunch area, not on the playground. I am your conscience and I'm here to help you with this difficult problem. Here's a PBIS strategy that might be useful in a situation like this. It's called accepting no for an answer. Step one, look at the person. Step two, say okay. Step th three, stay calm. Step four, if you disagree, ask again later. Wait, another one? No, you don't need those. What are they? B I P S? No, silly. P B I S. P B I S. You don't need them. We don't need you. Uh... I'm sorry, Mr. Packham. I'll make sure you at the lunch tables next time. Now, didn't he do just a fab job? Thank you, Jeannie's and Seth. Fifth grade just went to Riley's farm on Monday. Zaya had the opportunity to interview a British soldier. For those of you who haven't studied the American Revolution, the British soldiers worked for King George III and were the bad guys, or the lobsters, that we were trying to win our independence from. Now pay close attention to how he talks. He uses very academic words, and it's sometimes hard to understand him, but try your best. He's kind of funny from what I've heard. Let's turn it over to Zaya and Lieutenant Fish. I'm Faye Gonzalez from WeTV, and today we have from Riley's farm Lieutenant Fish. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Shropshire, England, indeed. Born and raised. <laughs> Where are your loyalties? Oh, with the king and only the king, yes, yes. Far away from anyone who strays from His Majesty's rule. <laughs> Did you attend school? Oh, only the highest of academies, yes, indeed. Yorkshire. Mm hmm. And what trade did you choose? Well, I'm a soldier. Yes, yes. I kill traitors for money. <laughs> yes. Under the service of His Majesty, of course. And what was your like, life like as a kid? As a child, oh, I, I was severely doted on by my parents. Yes, you see, I, I was afforded every luxury life can provide one of money. Yes, yes. An uh, overly cushy bed. Yes, very numerous amounts of clothes, half of which I never even wore, but uh, they looked nice, so I wanted them anyway. <laughs> yeah. That sounds nice. It, it was. You don't sound spoiled at all, but that, that's okay. Oh, yes. 
how do you feel about the colonies going into battle right now? I feel disgusted. First of all, I'm surrounded by dolts of a colonist nature, and indeed rebel dog scum, the lot of them. And uh, further, the weather is highly enigmatic in this part of the world, somewhat bipolar. One could call it rain, shine, snow, all on the same day. Yes, it's a bit perturbing. Hmm. But mostly, I'm just happy to be here to snuff out the rebel cause. Yes. Okay. Um, do you, what is your favorite type of food to eat as you're in battle? Oh, my favorite type of food is that of cucumber sandwiches. Yes, I love cucumber sandwiches. They are to die for. Have you ever had one? I highly no. recommend it. Indeed, you, you can't miss out on that. A little bit of mayonnaise just to get the bread nice and melty. And just a lovely little slice of cucumber, maybe a little Swiss cheese right on top of that. Yes, sandwich between two little bits of bread. I'll make, nice. sure, I'll make sure... Tea. Even though tea, I personally say, is a bit overrated, I'm more of a coffee man myself. But with tea, it is truly divine. <laughs> oh. I'll make sure to make. I'll make sure for my mom to make me that when I get home. Wonderful, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just like a child of our modern age to uh, order their parents around. <laughs> um, what is your favorite thing that the king does? Oh, oh, uh, the favorite thing that the king does, well, displaying his shiny gold hat seems to have fallen by the wayside over the past couple of centuries. Indeed, I rather enjoy when he attends public hangings, quite rare as well, but yes, it does make the hanging all the more jovial of an experience, you know. Yes, we all, we all need a good public hanging now and again. Do you keep the public morale high. Yes. Do you ever think you'll ever betray the king? Oh, not ever. No, I can't. Why? Are you about to bribe me? Ha! Ha! I refuse! <laughs> oh dear heavens, I, I, I must say, I do have sympathy for those rebel scum I spoke of earlier to rise up against the largest, most effective, and well-trained, well-supplied military force in all of the world. They might as well be asking to die. Yes. Yeah. You, it was a good thing you said yes. I, it's a good thing that you said you wouldn't betray him because what if the King George the Third was watching this? What if he was watching? Oh no, he's back in Mother England. How could he ever see this? <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me interview you. Oh, a pleasure, young lady. Thank you kindly, indeed. You. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Back to you in the studio. Wow, thanks for that interview, Zaya. I'm not sure I would have wanted to be a soldier during the Revolutionary War, though. Tonight is a spring dance. Come and support the school, hang out with your friends, and have some delicious popcorn and food. Make sure you bring your parent, though. You can't come alone. Good job to all the kids that competed in the second and third grade Battle of the Books. Congratulations to Dominic, Valerie, Michaela, Elijah, and Abigail, and in this, in this from the second grade competition, and Tatiana, Tamara, Johnny, Julissa, and Matthew. Congratulations for the third grade level. Today it is the fourth and fifth grade battle. Do your best. Spring break is next week. Yay! What's your favorite thing to do over spring break? Go to the website below and cast your vote. Remember to have a good attitude and do your best on MAPS testing this week. Your teachers have passed out a paper for our parents' survey. If your parents sign up for the survey and you turn the paper in, you will get two pieces of red vines. AKA licorice. Time for the fun fact of the day. Do you know that during World War II when Hitler visited Paris, the French cut the lift cables off the Eiffel Tower so that Hitler wouldn't be able to use the elevators if he wanted to go to the top, and that he would have to use his legs? Wow, I feel... Did you know that there's only one sign stop sign in all of Paris? Wow, that's crazy. I bet traffic is crazy there if people even use cars in Paris. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching We TV. Have a fantastic day and enjoy what's up with your coming up right now.